Good day, folks, and welcome to the continuation of the series on the trail projects here in Radnor Township. Uh, today, I have with me Peter Simone from Simone, do you call it Simone Collins or Simone Collins? Simone Collins. Yeah. I wasn't sure whether you made that shift. Um, who was responsible for the section that we refer to as the TAP Trail, and we'll probably get into how that name came about. We're going to start off with a short film that we made on site. Uh, Bill Quinn, who's in our Parks and Rec board, went out and we went to three different locations so he could explain the trail and the concept. Uh, so let's start with that. The TAP trail consists of three different segments or aspects, if you will. There is one where we're standing right now uh, at the corner of Radnor Chester Road and Lancaster Avenue by the high school. The other will be in West Wayne, and the third segment of the TAP Trail will run down from the Villanova PNW station down South Ethan Avenue and to Brimoir Avenue. Uh, the whole idea is to connect the beauty of Radnor Township with Tredyffrin East Town all the way to Lower Marion. So have a conducive, circuitous thoroughfare that goes all the way from one township through ours into another township. If you look back here, Around the corner is the end of the current trail where it will go under Radnor Chester Road and continue on. The idea here is to form a trail that would come across from the existing trail and then allow people to wander all the way up to Radnor Chester where it meets King of Prussia Road. Folks can also, as they come across the street, walk in front of the high school. There will be a new trail put in front of Radnor High School and that will wrap around and go up King of Prussia Road, up past Penn Medicine, all the way around and again meet at the top of King of Prussia and Radnor Chester Road, just shy of the SEPTA station. The property that we're standing on right now belongs to the school district. As you can see, Radnor High School is right here, and across from me is Penn Medicine where the new construction is going on. Now, in order to continue the path along King of Prussia Road here, we had to obtain easements from the school district. So essentially they've become partners in this project with us. And they'll be running into a number of expenses with uh, dead trees and shrubbery that will have to be replaced and or managed somehow. What we can do now with all this federal funding, these grant funding, is create a new trail similar to the trail that exists and it will run all the way down King of Prussia Road here, all the way in front of the high school. So essentially, it's a partnership between the two entities and it allows for the enhanced beautification of the trails. Right now, we are sitting on South Ethan Avenue uh, outside the beautiful Agnes Irwin School. Uh, we are about a quarter of a mile from south of Villanova, the southern dorms, where Lancaster Avenue meets South Ethan. And here will be a continuation, another segment of the three parts of the tap trail. This will run from the Villanova train station, the PNW station, which is actually being rebuilt as we speak. And the trail will come down here, down South Ethan, will go all the way down. There's Conestoga Road there. It will cross Conestoga Road, follow Ethan Avenue all the way down around the bend, if you're familiar with the bend, and it will run parallel to 476 all the way down through the beautiful sections down there and then over Brimar Avenue. Once we get over Brimar Avenue, there have been negotiations done where Haverford will pick up at that point and continue the trail from that point on through the Haverford Township. Right now, we are at the corner of Conestoga Road and Lantoga Road. And at this intersection, which was determined to be the most opportune due to border areas, if you look across the street from me here, the existing trail, the Radnor Trail, is about 60 yards away. And so the plan is to clear some trees. We will create a path that goes through the park here and cross right over where we are. There will be an established walkway with a plan is hopefully a blinking light, but clearly a demarcated area for people to walk and everyone will become familiar with it very quickly. While we're doing the work here, some trees will have to be removed. And so the plan is to plant new trees and to work on stormwater management issues as they develop. About, uh, I don't know, maybe a thousand feet up, we come to West Wayne Avenue. Now the path will come across from West Wayne Prefer from the existing trail and make use of this sidewalk as the thoroughfare. 
Now, as they make a left on West Wayne, there will be sharrows. It will be a sharing of street and biking, but it will be street access only at this point. People will be able to go from the existing Radnor Trail, cross over at this point, and head down to West Wayne, right into downtown Wayne, without ever having to enter their car. I think it speaks volumes about Radnor Township's commitment to its residents. I think it says that we appreciate you, you appreciate us, and I think the township is making a commitment to further the beauty, the property values, and the overall experience of living in this beautiful place. I think if people know and are made aware that there are safe avenues that are non-motorized, I think people will be out more and more, and they can really enjoy the value of their township and appreciate what the community has been doing for years and years. Well, I hope you found that useful uh, as we continue our discussion. Uh, that'll give you some context. Peter, you, um, even before we started the Tap Trail project, you, your firm helped us develop the Greenways plan for Radnor. Absolutely. We started, uh, John, as you know, back in 2013. And uh, it was a year-long process, and we developed a plan that was called the Radnor Greenways Open Space Network Plan. Right. It really focused on trail development. And over a period of 12 months, we had 18 meetings. Uh, we, we talked to lots of groups in the township. Uh, we did a, a survey where 70% of the respondents said that there are not enough greenways and trails in the township. 85% uh, of folks said trails and greenways are very important. And so we developed a, an overall uh, master plan. Uh, to add to the Radnor Trail, which our, our colleague Bob Thomas, of course, pioneered. Yeah. And uh, so our plan uh, details uh, t 28 miles of new trails, both on-road trails and off-road trails, that will help connect people in the township and then outside of the township uh, on, on these on-road and off-road trails. Right. Well, back in the uh, late 80s when I was on Parks and Rec, right. we did the Parks and Rec Long Range Plan. Mm -hmm. And one of the key goals of that plan was to connect the parks. Sure. And uh, as Bob and I discussed in our, our meeting, uh, the stuff just, you got to slow and steady. Don't give up. Absolutely. They're generational projects. And, um, and, and because they're generational projects, you know, conveying the information like we're, we're doing in this, this uh, conversation is very important because, uh, you know, people who weren't involved in that, that project that you mentioned, mm -hmm. and even back in 2013, don't understand the consensus that was developed. And, and, and also, I, th I think um, the, the, uh, the, the Greenway and Trails movement is really starting to reach a critical mass mm -hmm. in, in the whole country. Yes. Uh, Pennsylvania has, has more trails than any state in the Union. Um, and Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania does something it, well. Yeah, they do a lot of things well, actually. <laughs> and, and as we've seen, it's a very rich funding environment. There's yes. a lot of money for, for trails. Once we developed the plan, uh, as you know, we were able to go out and help the township acquire $1.75 million to build the first phase of this master plan. So mm -hmm. uh, Pennsylvania is a rich funding environment. And, and, and again, the purpose of having a plan like this is so you can get those funds to, to help build these things. Well, it's really Im impressive to uh, legislators when I walk in and throw the book down because then they understand that this isn't just somebody's crazy idea, that this is a well-thought-out, integrated approach. A absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and again, um, you know, the interstate highway system wasn't built overnight. No. And, and this is a small sort of replication of that on a township level. Uh, but... Uh, what you're doing in Radnor is being duplicated in townships around you and across the state. Right. That uh, really the biggest news in transportation is trails. And, and the, the other part that people sometimes forget is these are not purely recreational systems. They're transportation systems for commuting. Mm -hmm. uh, many of the trails that we have connect to uh, the many uh, SEPTA stations that you have here in the township. Right. So that somebody can either uh, bike or walk more safely to a train, or, and then when they come home, make that reverse commute. So uh, it's, it's really important, and uh, uh, it's something. The other part of it is, and, and you've seen this, and the people in, uh, who live in the township have seen this, r the Radnor Trail now is a place where you meet your neighbors. Yes. It's a, it's a town commons where people get together, 
and they're there for a common purpose, which might be just to take in some fresh air or to get a little exercise. And that's where you meet your friends and neighbors. So it's a very sort of uh, 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 communal place mm -hmm. that really builds community. Well, I'm looking forward to the tap trail because it's finally going to connect my ward. Right. Uh, and the other thing, I look back at the history of how these things evolved uh, 15 years ago, probably 10 years ago in that time frame. We met with a bunch of folks from Haverford mm -hmm. that were very interested in trails. Right. And, you know, how do we do what we did? And uh, that goes on, I would say, Haverford is probably one of the regional leaders in trail development nowadays. Sure. They run that nice uh, forum once a year. Right. It's, I think, six or seven years now. Yeah. So uh, that works so well to have those intermunicipal dealings. Absolutely. And as you know, the, the trail that we're going to be building next year, the TAP Trail, will connect to Haverford. Mm -hmm. uh, down past the Cornerstone development along a, a, a right parallel to the Blue Route. So it's going to be a great connection for people in both communities. Right. And Haverford's already committed to pick up their end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Yeah. Um, well, the name TAP was Transportation Alternatives. Correct. Right. And some of the original funding, they were the grants we got, trans ta that, you know, that's TAP grants. Correct. What we were able to do was marry three funding sources for this phase. Mm -hmm. One was the Transportation Alternative Program, which now is just called Transportation Alternative Set-Aside. Mm -hmm. The names always change a little bit. And that's through DVRPC, the Delaware Valley Regional Planning Commission, and PennDOT. And th that application went to DVRPC, gets reviewed by a committee, and the grants are awarded on the basis of the merits of the, of the, uh, of the project. And, and a lot of people say, well, why would Radnor get funding? You're an affluent community. Right. Well, PennDOT and DVRPC doesn't consider that. They consider the utility of the project, the usefulness of it. This We went to the um, Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. They awarded the township 500000 that matched the, the t TAP money. Right. And we also went to the Department of Community and Economic Development, and they awarded... Uh, I believe it's 225000 uh to the project. So we had three different agencies cooperating because they saw the merits of the project and they knew it was going to benefit people. Right. This, uh, as you said, this connects up many of the uh, Route 100 Norristown High Speed Line. Correct. Uh, people can actually, a combination of the TAP trail and the High Speed Line, move around the township pretty, pretty well. That's correct. Yeah. And uh, right across from the uh, Raider Road at the high school mm -hmm. is both a, a bus stop and the high speed line. Sure. And, and one of the exciting things uh, with, with the, the Raider Road connection around the high school, and the school district's been really terrific in cooperating with the township in terms of uh, we have an off-road section that goes around the, tr on, around the school. And, and we think, you know, right now where there is no trail, you can see, and we see people walking and running there all the time. Mm -hmm. This is going to provide a safer connection for the for the students who go to the school, faculty, and community members who, who go to that site all the time. And it's it's a really, I think, one of the reasons that this application was so successful is it connected to a, a major school facility. Right. And and funding agencies want to create ways for students to get safely to school, especially in high traffic areas right. like Radnor Township. Well, the, the piece that I always talk about to folks is the piece in front of the high school in Lancaster. Mm -hmm. Because literally you go from you know, Lower Marion in Montgomery County to East Town in Chester County, and the only place you can't ride a bike or walk on the right. sidewalk is right there. Correct. And, and in hindsight, when the Blue Route was constructed and the Route 30 was improved, that was a, a missed opportunity by yep. PennDOT at the time. But when that was done, uh, we weren't all thinking about sidewalk and bike connections as we are today. Right. Well, even today it's surprising how many of the older PennDOT folks, it just isn't on their radar. The well, young folks yeah. are really on top of well, it. I think PennDOT is changing, mm -hmm. um, and they're really supportive of multimodal connections. Right. Um, as, you, as you know, we have a, a local person as a Secretary of Transportation, Leslie Richards, mm -hmm. who is, is, as, has a background as a planner, and I think her influence to the agency has been transformational in that she's, she's instituted uh, planners in each of the PennDOT districts, 
And uh, they're, as a big institution, things are slow to change, but they're really making great strides forward to um, work with communities, to build uh, multimodal facilities. And uh, I think when that program started, it was very slow, but I think things are really, uh, the moment, momentum's really picking up, and right. PennDOT's doing some great work also. Yeah. The, um, the trail, what, what would you say, about half of the trail is off-road and half is on-road? I'd say it's a little more uh, three-quarters uh, on-road and a quarter right. uh, off-road. The, the major section of off-road trail, we're connecting from the southern end of the existing Radnor Trail down along Radnor Chester Road. We're crossing Route 30 and then going around the high school and then up past the, I'll call it the old uh, University of Pennsylvania Medical Facility, mm -hmm. uh, up back up to the corner of uh, Radnor Chester Road. That's a major off-road section. And then we, we take a leap down to Villanova on Ithan Ave, and the Ithan Ave section is a long section that goes all the way down Ithan Ave, which will be sharrows or markings on the pavement right. to alert motorists that bicyclists are going to be using that road. And as we know, bicyclists already use the road. A lot of mm -hmm. a big part of these bike plans, especially on road, is to alert motorists that there are going to be bicyclists in the road. We get to Bryn Mawr Avenue, we make a right under the blue route, and then we make a left uh, down past the uh, housing development, I'm drawing a blank Cor on the Cornerstone. Name. Cornerstone development. Yep. And there's a sewer right-of-way that goes parallel to the blue, blue route, and that's going to take us down to Haverford Township. So, uh, you know, we've got some nice off-road sections and on-road. Uh, so it'll be a, a, a really nice trail, and, and, and probably people will just use sections of it. Yeah, I think there's going to be a, a group that uses the section that takes us into downtown Wayne. Absolutely. And then there'll be a group that uses the cross-connect. Jeff's already looking for, forward to that, I know, one of your guys, an yeah. uh, avid cyclist. Yeah, and I, and I should have mentioned that section that's going to come uh, up North Wayne Avenue to the business district mm -hmm. and on road, pro progress down uh, South Wayne, down to Conestoga, and tie into the, the sort of the northern end of the existing Radnor Trail right. also. I'm just, I'm looking forward to the, the day that uh, you don't have to step on the street, you don't have to get in your car. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know you've worked with the folks at Ithan Valley uh, for that. So you're going to be able to go into the Ithan Valley Park. Yeah, one of the things we're exploring, and again, we're working with PennDOT, uh, the, the concept is to uh, take a walking trail that will complement the on-road bike trail mm -hmm. along Ithan Ave uh, on sections uh, sort of behind the sound barrier walls. It's still yes. a part of the PennDOT right away. Right. And PennDOT's been receptive to that. It'll be a hiking trail only. It'll be somewhat rugged. It's not going to be handicap accessible. Right. But it'll be a great trail for able body folks where they can walk through the PennDOT right away and tie into the Ithan Valley Park. That'll so it's great. a nice complement for, right. for, for pedestrians. There's a nice natural trail uh, over there that I tried to formalize many years ago. I didn't get any support from the school district because they were concerned. But basically, uh, the, there's developments on either side of the elementary school over mm -hmm. there that have connecting paths from the developments up to right. the school and then the other side. So you you can take a nice, probably two mile walk. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, a side trail that people can come off the tap trail and pick up. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the other thing about this, this trail master plan, I mean, this is not meant to be something that's cast in stone. Right. As, as the township moves forward, and, and when we did the plan, we said this is a 10, 15, 20-year plan. This mm -hmm. will take a long time to implement, uh, but it's worth the time invested and the, and the funds invested because it's going to change people's lives and enable them, as you said, to get out of their cars and get onto a bike or just to walk someplace where they're not competing with automobiles all the right. time. And uh, so, it's, so it's interesting, and, and as residents see other connections that could be made, uh, they should certainly approach the Board of Commissioners because uh, these, these plans can always be made better and tweaked and improved. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, uh, Penn Medicine, where they're building on Radnor Chester Road, has committed to putting trails on their property, right. and I assume the crossing will be Raider Road or just north of there. Correct. There's going to be a new crossing at Raider Road at the high school over to the new Penn Medicine facility, and they are going to have some on-road trails on their property, too, that will connect into the larger system 
uh, just uh, east of their, their site along right. Route 30. One of the challenges, and I don't know if it'll be the next challenge because there's another round of TA money coming right. up in 2019, right. is to connect what I, we've been calling the hole in the donut from, from uh, the Penn Medicine facility or the high school uh, through Villanova. Mm -hmm. And we think, you know, there's some real challenges in that section because we have some constrained right-of-ways and constrained yes. widths, but um, that's a big challenge. But once that's, uh, that connection is made, and it'll, I'm sure it'll tie into the new Villanova Bridge and everything else there, uh, you'll have a complete system from Haverford all the way up uh, it'll be on and off road to the northern end of the township. So yeah, that's, that's that'll be a big uh, a big uh, step forward. Uh, but there are also a lot of other fingers that will go into that spine. I'll call it yeah. that will connect the township. Um, believe it or not, we've exhausted our time, Peter. Okay. That, that well, flew, this was fun. flew by. Uh, thank you for coming in today, and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting moving on these projects. Yeah, we are too. Uh, we'll be some construction next year. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, um, stay tuned. We'll have additional programming, and thank you for watching today.